Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about what you guys should be doing in New World. We have some solo content that's very, very valuable for a lot of us to be doing, and it doesn't involve us just running around and gathering, it involves us doing something a little bit different this time. So I'm going to talk about this specifically, kind of guide you through what you should be doing and how to be doing it, the route you should be taking, and how to make a lot of money gathering things like surveyor tools like you just saw there on yesterday's stream. I also want to go back to 603 on the stream real quick. So let me bring this over. 603.55, it looks like, is about where I want to be. So here again, within the same hour, we were actually able to get another huge drop. So you can see here, I'm cleaning out my inventory from some of these other chests. I run up, I take the grave offerings. By the way, basically no mob aggro in a lot of these areas. That's why it's so solo a bull. Uh, but you can see here, Notes of Eternum Fauna. This is another part to a skinning trophy. So like I said, a lot of these have great reasons as to why they're expensive, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit about each of them now. So here we see the Notes on Eternum Fauna. This is a Notes of Eternum Fauna that improves your skinning trophy. This sell price is at 3,000 gold right now. The Surveyor Tools, which I got just, by the way, in our, well, really within the same hour, is about 4,444 gold on Bari which is the EU Central, and then the notes on of Eternum Fauna on EU Central is or really the same server, actually. It's going to be Bari again. It's about 3,300 gold. So within one hour, I got about 7,500, 7,600 gold, and this doesn't include all of the other stuff I got. Obviously, by looting all of these different chests by myself, I'm getting so many chances at so many different things, and it's not always just going to be trophy uh, trophy pieces. It's going to be a lot of other great things. I actually got legendary named items quite a bit as well, which is really, really cool. And of course, the biggest thing that you can get here, and it actually doesn't show up on the EU Central server, Bari must not be any there. But if we go to a different server, you can see that there is a drop called the Golden Scarab. You guys probably know what this does. Selling for as much as 25,000 gold to 14,000 gold, all the way down to, on El Dorado, about 9,400 gold as the lowest sell price. So, there's tons of money to be made doing this exact route, and I'm going to show you that route right now. So let me pull up this map here real quick, and actually I want to, before we go into the map, talk a little bit about this specifically. So how much luck do I need to get a stack deck or loading dice? This was a great little Reddit thread that happened the other day, and they have a great understanding of exactly what you need luck-wise and how it all works. So we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But before we talk about the guide on how much luck you need and what are the odds, I want to talk about the route, right? So we go to newworld-map.com. The first thing you're going to see here is Eternum, right? We're going to go to the brimstone side of things. We're going to bring up the chest. So let me bring up chest real quick. Go to brimstone, and it's going to be called the glyph chest. These are the big ones. These are the big puppies that are going to give you the best chance at getting some good stuff, especially those golden scarabs. You're going to have to make sure you have certain glyphs to do this content already. If you don't have all those glyphs, definitely start hunting those down as well. But I want to talk a little bit about the route you'll take, and the grave offerings and ancient offerings as well are very, very good loot and have potential to give you some of these trophy mats. And that's actually how I got one of them is from an ancient offering, and I got another one from the glyph chest. So we know for sure after testing. So let's take a look here at the map and see which ones we can do solo. So to start off, these three, very soloable. So you'll have this glyph here, you'll have this glyph here, and you'll have this glyph here. Those are three glyph chests that you can do by yourself very, very easily. You also have these grave offerings down here in the bottom middle. These are going to be a nice little triangle of, you know, great loot. And by the way, make sure to buy luck gear. I made sure before running out there that I went to the trading post and bought the lowest price tier five, about 550 gear score around there. Luck gear, I bought it for about 200 gold, all the pieces I needed. Ran around because I don't have my void bent anymore or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. So I ran around with my maxed out luck gear, basically, you know, I have luck trophies and everything. And I got really, really good drops and really, really good loot. So those are some of the beginning methods you can do. So these glyph chests here, grave offerings there, and the glyph chests there. The glyph chests are the big ones, by the way, giving you a huge chance at stuff. Um, sometimes you'll be able to go in here. This will sometimes be glitched out. As a solo player, you can actually go in and take these. Um, if somebody's there opening them for you during this first week, there's people running everywhere. Sometimes that's the case. You can just walk in there and loot those. Um, this is definitely another soloable area, and I went here today on stream as well and had a lot of success here. Uh, you'll have this travel shrine or spirit shrine at the bottom left. You'll have a glyph chest right beside it, a grave offerings chest right to the north of it, another north chest going to be a glyph chest yet again, which is awesome. And then to the west, we have grave offerings and glyph chest on the west, or really the deep west 
of brimstone sand. So those are some great, great spots as well. There's obviously going to be spots I miss, but I'm trying to get all the ones with the glyph chest because those are going to be worth and give you the highest chances at golden scarabs and other great, great materials. So another spot you can potentially go for is in this northwest corner. There's a spirit shrine up here. You should be able to get this glyph chest by yourself. There's one up here, glyph chest wise. This one's going to be a little bit harder. You can go for it if you want. And then there's some grave offerings here on the side that you can always go for if you please to do or, you know, want to do exactly that. Um, another great soloable spot is this north shrine. So this north shrine here, you can actually see a grave or sorry, glyph chest in the top middle. And I actually hear myself talking somewhere. So let me let me double check it. My download for my Twitch VOD just got uh, just got done and finished and it started playing in the background. So I'm going to pause that real quick. I was downloading my stream because I was going to show you guys the content, but I just figured, you know, I can just play it on the browser and show you guys there. So that's exactly what I did. If, if you guys want to tune in, by the way, for the next Twitch stream, it's going to be twitch.tv slash iGraphicEye in the description of today's video. It's going to give you a lot of great tips like this. So grave offerings, yet again, all here in this little pile. And they're very, very easy to get to yet again. So what you'll want to do if you have this quest complete, you'll go to the Spirit Shrine here. You'll teleport over to this top side and you'll get these grave offerings. And uh, we can't really do these glyph chests solo. This is going to be more of a group thing, but there is a lot up there as well. So now that you know a decent amount of these spots, those are just some of the soloable areas. You can also teleport down here with this Spirit Shrine straight south of Brimstone. And you'll have a glyph chest here and a grave offerings chest here. The odds of getting something good when you're going full luck gear because you're not worried about dying because realistically, uh, you know, like I said, you're running full luck gear because none of these mobs are actually going to do anything in these areas. They're not very, very hard enemies. Like, they're not elite zones. So I just figured out that this is a great thing to do between, you know, grouping with people to do some of the bigger areas like Heliopolis or the top right area. I forget what this one's called where you do your heart gem quest. Um, but this is just kind of a quick guide and an understanding of how to get really, really good drops very, very quickly. But I want to talk a little bit about the luck now and what you need to be getting involved with some of this luck. So how much luck do I need to get stack deck or loaded dice? Uh, I'm not going to read too much into the question because this answer kind of explains everything you need to know. Stack deck and loaded dice only drop from supply stockpiles. Ancient chests, not elites, which is crazy. So you're thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't be doing these you know, these glyph chests. Well, these glyph chests are definitely worth it, I'll tell you that. But these grave offerings, you do have a chance at getting stuff like the stack deck. It's going to be huge for you. It's going to have you give, uh, or really give you a great chance at something special like these trophy mats that I've been getting as well. The odds of getting any trophy mat from the trophy mat loot table with no luck is 1 in 800. With absolute maximum luck, it's 1 in 56, which sounds like a lot, but you're able to run around the, the brimstone very, very quickly solo, and there's so many different ways to actually, you know, get to these grave offerings so quickly with all of the spirit shrines being so close to each other. Um, you know, it just makes it a very, very good experience for my, in my opinion, at the very least. Every single piece of my gear is lucked out, and then I'm also running PvP flagged for an additional bonus on the luck. So there are only two activities in the game where loot luck is actually useful. Searching for trophy mats from stockpiles and supply stockpiles into ancient chests and farming for non-exclusive dungeon named weapons. In almost every other case, loot luck will have so slightly changed your odds or ever so slightly changed your odds, but not enough to matter in the slightest. So obviously fishing luck and gathering luck is always nice to have. Loot luck is mostly a waste of time unless you want to do chest runs and farm for materia. In our case, guys, it's a huge, huge deal. You want that loot luck because it's going to help you quite a bit. And I told you before as well on the stream, and you guys actually saw it yesterday as well. So I got two trophy mats within an hour, and then the next hour, and I was also able to get a named item, I believe straight out of a chest after I killed an enemy that was, um, where was that? Was it? Let me, let me see if I could find that real quick to give you an exact example of when this actually worked out for in my favor. Right here it was. So we killed this guy right here. We opened this glyph chest, and it was kind of like a little boss in front of this glyph chest that you could easily solo. Like I said, this is a great spot to solo this area. And this glyph chest gave me a named item. So a named item, Surveyor Tools, uh, Notes of Eternum, Fauna. Those are three great, great items, obviously, to get. And I got them well within the same, like I said, hour, hour and a half. So very, very cool. I want everyone to be able to take advantage of kind of this solo content. So hopefully you guys can do exactly that. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. A lot more videos coming guides-wise, and nonetheless, we are going to continue to stream as well at twitch.tv slash iGraphicGuy. I'll see you guys all in the next one.